Nick DePaul from ESPN here. We're joined with Dr. J. Julius Irving yes. at the Nike Art of a Champion event. Yes. Obviously, you've been with the brand for a long time. Yes. What's it been like just to see Converse of all through the years? Wow, what an amazing uh, roller coaster ride. <laughs> you know, I think uh, Converse had the lion's share of the market at one time, part of a, a big public company, uh, the Nike umbrella. So, uh, so it's had a, a, a very storied history, very much like I have. Uh, in terms of you know being a ABA player, NBA player, Rucker League player, so so that's good. I think we're a good fit for one another. And of course, they've brought this shoe back a ton of times before, but now this time is a new spin with the elements of the 16 there. Yeah. What's it like just seeing it come to life in a new way? Yeah, yeah it's a collector's item. Now, uh, probably not performance shoe. You probably won't see too many high school or college players out there rocking that shoe with the with the gold on the front or the the red laces uh, or the different ways in which it can be uh, figured. Uh, I think I'm going to probably have a lot of requests for autographs running, going through airports and seeing people holding this shoe. I need you to sign my shoe. <laughs> so uh, so this is going to spur some uh, some interest in not only the brand but in my personal brand and uh, I'm happy about that. And of course they've always kind of kept your versions pretty clean, pretty simple. How would you kind of describe your style back then and then now? Yeah, I think a clean, simple look uh, makes sense. I think my game has always been, you know, pretty much flashy, you know, having a uniqueness to it, having a flair, you know, up in the air, off the ground. So, so the shoes accompany and all that uh, was how people uh, remember it and how I remember it. So I, I, think, uh, I think sticking with that was a smart thing to do. And this collection really kind of encapsulates that moment of winning 16, winning a title. For, you, for your sake, of course, you lost a couple finals before you finally won. Yeah. What was it like when that 16th one finally happened for you, and what do you remember about those moments? Yeah, well, it was the other way around. We won a couple before we lost, because I won with the Nets twice in the 70s as a very young man at 24 and 26. And then losing in the NBA, that became, uh, that became very difficult. I mean, it was hard to take, and, uh, you know, to lose three times in six years uh, was, Skull drudgery, actually, but uh, you know we kind of stayed the course. And uh, you know, one thing you learn from not being successful is that you know you only truly lose when you quit. So those non-successes eventually translated into into victory. And the last memory of you know me on a basketball court was as being a winner. So pretty happy about that.